joining us now from House Judiciary, Congressman Greg Stubbe. Congressman, it's great to see you again. Good to okay, see you. just within the past couple of hours, this breaking news: Elon Musk fired Twitter's top lawyer James Baker for two things: potential involvement in Twitter's censorship of the Hunter Biden laptop story, and potentially trying to block Musk's second release of Twitter emails and text messages. When you heard this, what was your reaction? Well, my reaction was no surprise that, uh, you know, you have those that have been in Twitter for years that have colluded and conspired with the Biden administration to censor conservative votes, that they would try to fight Elon and the discharge of some of this information. And thankfully, we have someone like Elon Musk who's gone in there and shook things up and believes in freedom and transparency for the American people and that uh, the government shouldn't be telling social media companies what to censor and not to censor. And thankfully, we have somebody like that. Unfortunately, we don't still have some something like that in Facebook and some of these other social media companies. But now that the Republicans have the majority and the gavels come January 3rd, there's going to be a lot of accountability that's going to come to Washington. You know, Congressman, uh, James Baker was James Comey's former top deputy at the FBI. He was a top counsel at the FBI. He was involved in the debunked Trump Russia collusion probe. He was involved in the General Michael Flynn case. He was involved in FISA warrants to spy on the Trump campaign. He was involved in with he was a point man apparently on the Hillary Clinton debunked Trump Alpha Bank, the Russian Alpha Bank story as well. So we have Tim Tebow at the FBI slow walking the Hunter Biden probe allegedly out of D.C. Now we've got James Baker doing it uh, over here underneath Musk trying to block what Musk is trying to release on what was going on at Twitter. Yeah, deep state Democrats trying to, you know, protect Democrats uh, and not allow for transparency and things that conservatives believe in. And those are the type of things that we're going to fight against, thankfully, that we got the majority. And the type of things that you mentioned with the FBI and the DOJ, that goes to the highest levels of the FBI and the DOJ and the politicization so, that has occurred in that agency. We're going to bring that to bear come so, January So, you know, the people who watch MSNBC or other networks are not getting the full story on what so. Joe Biden Biden is being accused of garden variety corruption, you know, you selling access based on his government position in the Obama White House and with to, with China, Russia and uh, Kazakhstan and more. Did the FBI brief you anybody or anybody in Congress on their weekly meetings with big tech and social media in Silicon Valley before the 2020 election about censorship? No, of course not. And they, I'm sure they didn't brief a single Republican because they didn't want Republicans to know that that was going on because that certainly undercuts their theory that they weren't interfering in the election. And that's so they absolutely just go rogue. They were so doing. the FBI just goes rogue. Is that yeah, it? Yeah, 100%. Yep. So what do you do to stop this? I mean, the, the well, national conversation has been so poisoned and distorted by other wet networks who don't do the journalism and dig into what's going on. Your final word. Well, they don't do the journalism and they don't want to put out the facts and the real evidence. And you have a deep state in the FBI that will do anything uh, to corrupt for Democrats. And we're going to bring that to bear when we take the gavels back and, and start our investigations. All right. Congressman Stubbe, it's good to see you again. Merry Christmas good to, to you. you.